Good morning and welcome to another Lighthouse at Home. It's so good to see you and welcome to you all from all of the Lighthouse um, team. We're all missing you, seeing you face to face, but it's great to see you and we love those lovely air hugs that Caroline sends us each week. How did you get on last week? Did you enjoy making your sunshine? Here's my one. I made that. I've seen some at the windows as I've been on my walking round. So they look, they've been looking great. And have you been enjoying splashing in some puddles this week? I have. I know we had all that rain, but it's great to get out and splash in those puddles. So we're going to get started today. So you've got time just for a few seconds as we play our special music to go and grab yourself your rainbow stick or your shaker or and your shaker and go and grab your grown-ups or your big brothers and sisters and get them to come and join in. I am a lighthouse, a shining and bright house Out on the waves of a stormy sea The oil of the Spirit keeps my lamp burning Jesus my Lord is the light in me And when people see the good things that I do They'll give praises to God who has sent us Jesus will send out a lifeboat of love and forgiveness And give them a hand to get good and we're ready to get started and the first thing we've got to do is to switch our light on. Last week we learned all about how God made the sun and the light we see and our lighthouse shines to show everybody that we're here at Lighthouse but also that reminds us that God shines his light out of us. So let's count down. Are you ready to do three, two, one? Ready? Three, two, one. The light is shining, we're ready to get started. Today we're carrying on our theme of God's wonderful world and today we're going to think all about God made the sky, all that lovely sky that we see outside. Wow that's going to be so exciting. Let's do our first song. Are you ready for Big Thumbs? And today we're going to have it with playing with the full music. I'm not going to play on the guitar so I can join in doing the actions. So we remind ourselves that we find our big, tall, strong thumbs and then we wiggle our fingers along. Then we find those baby fingers, that's it. And we go when they're tiny but important. We do a great big jump up. Okay, are you ready? In the middle of this, there's a little instrumental verse. So we sing it through twice, then an instrumental, and then we sing it one more time. Are you ready? Let's do big thumbs. Big thumbs. That's it. Big thumbs. enjoyed doing that myself this time. Brilliant. Let's do our next song. Is it Banana Man? Yes! We're ready to do Banana Man. Do you remember what to do? We have to be really bendy to be Banana Man. So we, we bend over. I may never whoop, bend like Banana Man, climb like Spider Man, or stretch like Plastic Man. I may never fly whoosh, like Superman, but I am special to God. Yes, I am special to God. Yes, isn't that so exciting? What a great song. Are you ready? Let's see those banana men. Yes. 
Well done, everybody. That is so good. And I've been singing that lots as I've been uh, walking around at home and going in the garden. I love singing that song that I am special to God. Well done. And because we're thinking about all about the sky, we've got to do our song bigger than big today. Do you remember how to do it when we stretch up? You say, big blue sky, stretch up. Beautiful. You made the oceans deep and wide. That's it, make the seas wave. That's it. God, you made the trees be a tree. The trees so tall. Your love is bigger than it all. Then we sing your bigger than big, big white shape. Stronger than strong, showing those muscles. And mightier than mighty. Then we shout louder than this song. That's it. Your love for me stretches farther than far. I can't imagine just how big you are. Just how big you are. Let's do all that with the music. Are you ready to stretch up tall? Ready, one up. So good, ready. God, you made the big blue sky. You got to make our big blue sky. Well done, your oceans. You made the oceans deep and wide. Trees. God, you made the trees so tall. Your love is bigger than it all. Ready? I got your bigger than me. You're stronger than strong. You are mightier than mighty. Louder than this song. Your love for me stretches farther than far. I can't imagine just how big you are. Just how big you are. Yep, well Well done. Let's do one more song before our story. We're going to do our shining song. We sang it last week. We're going to get your, get your rainbow sticks out and we're going to do some shining and making a really nice um, song to shine to. So let's remember for our actions. So we go shine from the inside out that the world will see you live in me. Shine from the inside out, so the world will see you live in me. Then we sing, you know me, we sing, you know me. Nod your head. Do you love me? Do a big, nice cross of your heart. And you fill me, Woo! and you send me to shine. And at the end, we do some twirling round. And then we finish with a lovely big star jump. See if you can do that with me at the very end. Right, are you ready to shine?
After God made the water and the light, he made the sky. I wonder if you can touch the sky. Reach up really tall and see if you can touch the clouds. Sometimes the sky is blue and there are little white fluffy clouds. Sometimes there are big dark clouds. Sometimes we can see the sun in the sky. But sometimes it's dark and we can see the moon and the stars. Sometimes it's lots of different colours, pink and orange and purple. Sometimes we see beautiful colourful rainbows in the sky, which are a special promise of God's love and his care for us. Maybe you've seen rainbow pictures near your house recently or even did one yourself. God made the sky and it was good. Oh, thank you, Lucy. That was such an exciting story. Thank you for coming along. And Lucy used to come to my house when she was a little girl. So isn't that brilliant that she's come to help us with our story today? So good. Let's get ready to do our prayer. You remember what to do. We put one hand in the air, two hands in the air, clap them together, we bring them down and we're going to say our prayer. Dear Father God, thank you for making our wonderful world. Thank you for the blue sky and the fluffy clouds, the grey skies and rainy clouds, for pink sunrises and starry nighttime skies. We think you are amazing! And are you ready to do the big Amen? Ready? Amen! Well done, that was brilliant. We've got one more song to sing, and that is Who's the King of the Jungle? Do you remember the actions? We're going to get our shakers, get those ready, but we just go through those actions. Who's the King of the Jungle? We go, whoop, whoop. and who's the King of the Sea? Bubble, bubble, that's right. Who's the King of the Universe? That's all the stars, all the skies, all around us. And who's the King of me? I tell you, the answer is J-E-S-U-S. -S. That spells Jesus. He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe, the jungle, and the sea. Bubble, bubble. So let's get our shakers and let's sing and make a really good noise. Are you ready? Yeah. 
One last song. Do you remember? It's our happy birthday song. That's right. So have you had a birthday this week? Or perhaps somebody in your house or somebody you know, we're going to sing to them. So don't forget our special words, the happy birthday, our lighthouse words, and we put your name in, in the middle bit. We're going to play that on the music this time. So let's go. Don't forget the special words. Are you ready? to you let's give you a big 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 round of applause if it's been your birthday this week well done well that's all the songs for today we need to find out what we're going to make today so we are going to hand over to Caroline and her team of little helpers to tell us what we're going to make with our theme of the sky this week hello lighthouse family hello lighthouse family this is the Price family again, bringing you this week's craft. Um, how lovely that the sun's come back out to play again. This week's craft, we are looking at sky and how amazing our beautiful sky is. Our beautiful blue sky, fluffy clouds in the sky, sun shining. Sometimes the sky goes a bit grey. Um, miserable. Uh, miserable, but we do need the rain to make our plants grow. And cross. <laughs> so... We're looking at sky, we're making a sky craft. Uh, it's a bit boring just to do blue sky with some fluffy clouds, so we've added some bits to it. So, this week's craft, we have a hot air balloon flying in the sky. And I've got a teddy in a basket suspended underneath and the rolling hills. So, you will need for our craft, blue card, green card, some brown card, a couple of bits of string, some cotton wool, and then something for your hot air balloon. This hot air balloon I made out of some uh, fabric. I cut some fabric out, but it was a bit tricky. So if you've got some old wrapping paper, that would make a nice pattern, or some patterned paper at all, or you can just make it a plain colour or a white one and decorate it yourself with your design. Now the tricksy bit is making the shape of your hot air balloon. It's always good to have things to draw around. So again, this week we have a circle. A big circle. Um, a medium sized circle and a square block. And what you need to do, I shall show you the picture I've already drawn, is to draw around your circle and then draw underneath your square. And then, using a ruler, you might need a bit of help, join the bottom corner of the square up to the side of the circle. And you've got a hot air balloon shape. Now, I've made a template. A template is something that you can draw around to help you. Or it's like a guide. So I made my template out of some thick card so that I could draw around it on my wrapping paper or whatever paper I wanted to use. I found that that was easier than trying to use my shapes on my wrapping paper. So this is my wrapping paper I've chosen. I've got a bubbly hot air balloon. And you now need your two bits of string 
and we're going to stick the string using sellotape onto the bottom of our hot air balloon. So, oh, Annabelle, you can help me. Could you hold my sellotape for me, please? Thank you. Sellotape works better than glue to keep your string attached. Or you could use glue and sellotape, but I don't think that would work, though. Sellotape doesn't like sticking to paper if it's gluey. Right, so I've stuck my two bits of string onto the bottom of my hot air balloon with my sellotape. And now I'm going to get, I have made a brown rectangle, which is going to be the basket for the bottom of the hot air balloon. So I need some more sellotape, please, assistant. Lovely. Thank you very much. It's a bit fingerprinty. That's fine. And I'm going to stick the other end of my string onto your basket. Onto my basket using my sellotape. I may have very long string for this one. Five. I've just realised. So there's my basket, there's my string, there's my hot air balloon. Now then, to speed things up a bit, I've already cut out a picture of my teddy. You don't have to use a teddy. But I found that drawing a teddy was a lot easier than drawing a person and trying I to cut that people. out. Very good. Um, but you could draw a rabbit or, a well, anything that you want. So I am... Or you could draw a donkey. I have put a bit of glue on the bottom of my teddy and stuck my teddy into my basket. Now, just to make my basket look a bit more interesting... I've got a couple of strips of different colour to put across the middle to make it look more like more baskety. There we go. And then she's going to cut the end. Yeah. Like this. And there is my teddy in his basket. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of the hot air balloon, but I'm not going to glue my teddy so my teddy can swing around. So glue on my hot air balloon. Stick my hot air balloon onto the top of my blue card. Now then, to make it look more like sky, I've got some cotton wool. Now if you pull your cotton wool ball apart, it goes really fluffy. If you put your glue onto your card, it's easier than putting it onto your cotton wool because then your glue gets all sticky, doesn't it? And fingers get all sticky. Or so, you mean all fluffy? One cloud. Right, so I've stuck on a couple of fluffy clouds. I've got some fluffy clouds. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I've got a couple of different coloured greens to make my hills. And I'm just going to cu cut... A curvy shape out. So curvy, 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 curvy might, of one. You might need some help and curvy, 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 curvy on another. And if you put the dark green colour on first at the bottom, and then your light green colour overlapping a little bit over the top, it's called perspective which is to make okay. things look like. far away. So, I've now done my hills. There's my teddy in his hot air balloon. And just to finish off, I'm going to draw some birds in the sky. And the best way for drawing simple birds is to like just to do... It's like the top of a heart. like a top of a heart. Curvy, curvy. Like the top of a love heart. Right. And so... Like that's the one I first made. That's the one I've just made. Elliot, would you like to show everybody the one you made and how you made your one special? How did you make your one special? I added some rain to mine, just in turn the other one. Yes, so Elliot added rain to his to make his different to the other ones. Now, as usual, I gave Annabelle the challenge to try and come up with something a little bit different so that you've got a choice. 
and Annabelle's craft. She's done a sky picture too, but this time Teddy is in an aeroplane. Yay! So for Annabelle's craft, these are her instructions. You will need blue, red, yellow and brown card or paper. Cotton wool or tissue, that's true. You can make your clouds using scrunched up tissue paper if you don't have any cotton wool. Sellotape and pencils. First, cut out a little triangle, oval and half an oval on red card. So that's her tail and her two wings. Number two, cut out a big yellow oval on yellow card. And that is the body of her aeroplane. Number three, stick the triangle at the back of the yellow card and the oval and half an oval in the middle. So you're sticking on your tail on the end and your wings on either side of your aeroplane. Draw on brown card a bear and then cut it out. Stick the bear at the front of the yellow oval and draw in a steering wheel. Stick it on blue card. Stick cotton wool onto the blue card. And you have a lovely picture of Teddy flying an aeroplane. So we hope that you've enjoyed our ideas this week. And we all really hope that we will see you very, very soon. Take care. Stay safe. Bye, Annie. Stay sane. And cuddle, Annie. Cuddles. Mm -hmm. Oh, Caroline, thank you. What an amazing picture we're going to make this week. That is so good. Perhaps we could even pretend that we could be going in a hot air balloon and rising up and looking down and seeing what we could see. I wonder what you would see if you went up in a pretend hot air balloon. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Have a think. Maybe that's a game you could play later on today. And you can tell us what you think or show us your pictures or send some video clips in to our Facebook page. That would be brilliant. Take care. Keep safe. I can't wait to see you next week. Big hugs. Bye.